Leaving Dublin as the city was waking up was a magical farewell. Seeing the city come to life in the morning was a great way to say goodbye to the city that we have called our travel home for the last four days. Heading to Dublin Airport, not to catch a plane, was a bit of a weird thing, but here we go on the next part of our adventure. Our little beast for the next eight days. Hello. Morning. We have just picked up our car from Budget, and where are we heading this morning? Wicklow Mountains. Wicklow Mountains. We've got some exploring to do. We've got this car for the next eight days, so there's quite a few videos coming. We are at the Crone Forest Recreation Area. Pretty sure this is not where I wanted to stop. It's still pretty cool anyway. This is part of the Wicklow Trail or Wicklow Way, which is the longest walking trail and the oldest walking trail in Ireland. It goes for 127 kilometers. I'll go to Fabia. We are at our first Irish countryside food stop and we're stopping at Turquoise in some little country town. Quaint little place. When you get a seat, right next to the fire. Snug and warm. Thank you. So did you guys learn to make coffee in Australia? I did. Yeah. Awesome. Just, yeah, so it should be a good one? I hope so. Because I haven't had a good yeah, one I since I left. You're always nervous making coffees for Aussies. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, best coffee we've had since I've been away. The turquoise, if you are an Aussie and you are in Ireland and you are looking for a coffee made by someone who was taught in Australia, go here. Great coffee. He learnt in Double Bay, so you know he's going to know what he's talking about because they're coffee snobs down there. Yeah. Going through the town of Roundwood. Biggest Irish town we've seen since we've left Dublin. There's a big car park at Glendalough. It costs four euros to park your car. Then we're going to explore. Uh, it's a charge to go into the visitor centre. It's picnic areas, little open area. How blue is that sky today? Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's a labyrinth in the grass. One of the main reasons we wanted to explore the Wicklow Mountains was to visit the monastic settlement founded by St Kevin in the 6th century. Round towers were the campaniles or bell towers of early Irish mon monasteries. The round tower was probably built sometime between 900 and 1200. That is the door. Yes. Long jump anyone? High jump? Pull the ladder up inside. What was your calculation just then, Phil? Over 1100 years. Whoa. Actually a door in there, I'm not sure if I'll get it or not. So many people laid to rest in the cemetery. Mm. Thousands of years old. Many, many of them have absolutely no inscriptions left. Weathered away to next to nothing. But I guess if the Capanile started to be built in... 800. It makes sense. This early Christian monastic settlement was founded by St Kevin in the 6th century and most of the buildings we're looking at date to the 10th or 12th century. I just turned around and saw this. Obviously this is the tomb headstones. Headstones connected to the wall. Some bits. Oh, they have flying buttresses. Look at the cross over there. Yeah. Do you want to have a look at 
that building. Here's the roof stand. Outside the monastic site is a little village and in the village you'll also find a couple of vans with souvenirs and one with food. at the Whitlow Mountains viewing platform and we'll have a look from the high place. It's not the highest place on top of that hill. Looks like there's another platform. You can walk up that road. There are people on there, I don't know if I'll get them. Walking up to that point. So we were going to take the drone up, but as you can see, a little bit windy out here and we're not even up high, so it's probably worse up high. And Phil, what have you found? Some peat. He is liking the squishiness under his foot. There are two car parks at the Wicklow Viewing platform and um, yeah, they're both an easy walk. The one we're at doesn't have any stairs on their little path, it's quite flat. That's icy that wind. <sighs> so cold. My face is actually quite frozen now. Yeah. I think you're right, we're above the snow line. But There's No, not a tree for miles is a giveaway. Thanks for joining us today on our trip up the Wicklow Mountains. We had a great time in Glenfer and uh, showed you a few other things. Found a great coffee spot. So I'll put the link in the description below for that one. If you liked what you saw today, why not hit the like and subscribe buttons. We've got plenty more of Ireland to come. We've got more of our road trip coming up and we've got heaps of Dublin in the playlist in the description below. As always, thanks for joining us. Travel, Travel brilliantly. brilliantly. Bye. Bye.